Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for July 13 to 15, 2014. This is based on significant planetary geometry which falls during the month of July, as well as a significant planetary geometry with Saturn which moves through its 13 degree earthquake cycle that has been attributed to very powerful earthquakes, especially over the last four years. We now look at the planetary synodic cycles with the smallest being Earth Mercury lasting only 116 days compared to the longest Earth Mars lasting 780 days. Now the main focus for this video is the Earth Saturn synodic cycle of 378 days. The 378 day synodic cycle is tied into the numbers 12 and 13. Specifically we have 12 and a half months during this cycle. It's also linked into the solar eclipse and also the lunar cycles where we have 12 to 13 full moons per year. We're now looking at some important planetary geometry which is taking place during this watch period from July 13 to 15. We have a trine between Venus and Mars. Now this involves the Earth and this is significant and will play a role during this time frame. We have Mercury reaching its maximum western elongation on July 13th. And this does have an earthquake symmetry as well. Back in 2012, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake struck off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. This was a very powerful earthquake. And we see that last year, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake struck a day before the maximum western elongation of Mercury. And it's also worth noting that we have a lunar perigee also on July 13th. This caps off a very busy day and it should signify the potential for very powerful events here on the Earth. Now this will take place at 8.26 a.m. UTC, just after a Moon-Jupiter opposition. We're now looking at the July ephemeris and focusing on the position of Saturn as we're looking at 22 degrees Sagittarius as being the area of focus and it'll reach that point on July 13 to 15. Now this month we have strong significant influences between Venus and also later on in the month the inner solar system will be in play from July 24 to 26 as well as a very powerful alignment between Earth, Jupiter and Sun. We're now going to look very closely at the Saturn 13 degree earthquake cycle and the main reason for this forecast video. Unfortunately a lot of this information has been hijacked by some presenting a doomsday scenario regarding comets, asteroids and even invisible planets causing very powerful earthquakes. But in actuality it's actually tied into the Saturn 13 degree cycle as seen from the Earth. We're now using a graphic which will show the last nine years of very powerful earthquakes and associated to the 13 degree cycle of Saturn with respect to the Earth. We begin at 25 degrees Cancer on March 2nd 2005 with a 7.1 magnitude earthquake in the Banda Sea. At 8 degrees Leo, February 22nd 2006, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake in Mozambique. At 22 degrees Leo, April 1st 2007, a magnitude 8.1 earthquake in the Solomon Islands. We then move to 5 degrees Virgo on February 20, 2008 with a magnitude 7.3 earthquake in the Simuel region, Indonesia. And at 17 degrees Virgo on February 11, 2009, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake also in Indonesia took place. We're now moving across to 0 degrees Libra on February 27, 2010 with a magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake striking offshore Morley, Chile. At 13 degrees Libra, the following year, March 11, 2011, the powerful magnitude 9 earthquake off the east coast of Honshu, Japan and Tsunami took place. We continue that progression to 26 degrees Libra on April 11, 2012, where we had two earthquakes over 8 magnitude striking off the west coast of northern Sumatra, the first being an 8.6 magnitude, followed up quickly by a magnitude 8.2 on the same day. And finally, back in 2013, May 23rd, a magnitude 8.3 earthquake striking the Sea of Okhotsk, a very deep earthquake and also 13 degrees progression later. We then move from 9 degrees Sagittarius to 22 degrees Sagittarius which takes us to the point of July 13 to 15, 2014 which will be the main focus and attention for this cycle. Now there could also be another window during July which could also coincide with this very large earthquake that I foresee coming and that could be from July 24 to 26 which coincidentally has the very powerful alignment of Earth, Sun and Jupiter and the same alignment took place on February 27, 2010. 
We're now looking at the important planetary alignments that are taking place for the month of July, with the main celestial influence being Pluto having three connections for the entire month. But apart from that, the period of July 13 to 15 has no planetary alignments, so this will put the 13 degree Saturn earthquake cycle to the test. Now if we don't get a very powerful earthquake from July 13 to 15, the next time window would be July 22nd to July 24th, with a very powerful alignment of Sun and Jupiter taking place. As mentioned, the last four years have coincided with extremely powerful and dangerous earthquakes. Now we have a look at the exact Sun and Moon position, and may give us an opportunity to see which areas may be in line for a possible earthquake in this time window and forecast for this video. There is strong data and analysis to suggest a strong earthquake could be possible in and around the Indonesian region during this watch window, with the main focus being centred around the Great Sumatran Fault, with the areas of northern Sumatra and southern Sumatra most at risk due to very large and extensive ionospheric anomalies that have been registered since February. Other areas of note could be Java, Sumbawa and also the Banda Sea region. Now it is important to say that Saturn is not causing these very large earthquakes that have been occurring over the last four years, but what we need to consider is the planetary geometry and also the planetary alignments that are taking place around this time frame. So these very significant earthquakes that have been occurring are associated due to the position of Saturn with respect to the Earth, and that's the main focus of attention without blaming phantom mysterious objects or invisible planets for the cause of these very large events. It is worth noting that Saturn moves out of its retrograde cycle on July 20, 2014, or from an Earth perspective, goes direct. So I'm expecting a powerful earthquake could be possible just prior to this occurring, especially around the time frames of July 13 to July 15. And that's my planetary alignment and Saturn 13 degree earthquake cycle forecast video for the month of July 2014. Now for more information on this line of work and research, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. The website also features a monthly newsletter which is jam-packed full of information with graphic ephemeris crossing data, the lunar influence and lunar alignments for the month, celestial influences and planetary alignments, extreme orbital orientation analysis, the sun-moon overhead or longitudinal position to determine the volcano and earthquake threats for the month, as well as a section on the New Zealand and Australian monthly earthquake forecast, as well as a solar activity forecast section which highlights key dates of focus for extreme solar activity. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.